Daniel Farker's injury hit Norwich City confounded form and expectation at Carrow Road to inflict 2019 champions Manchester City's first defeat since January. Pep Guardiola's side find themselves five points behind Liverpool after just five games following this tale of two cities. Norwich City set up in a 4-2-3-1 formation in possession, with Alex Tetti and Kenny McLean as the two deep central midfielders, while Emi Buendia, Marco Stieperman and Todd Cantwell played behind Temu Puki, who was the centre-forward. Out of possession, Manchester City looked to press Norwich aggressively in the earliest phases of their build-up, using Bernardo Silva, Sergio Aguero, David Silva and Raheem Sterling to lead the first line of the press. When they had the ball, Man City set up in a 4-1-4-1 formation, with Bernardo Silva, Gundogan, David Silva and Sterling operating behind Aguero in attack. Nicolas Otamendi and John Stones formed the central defensive partnership, with Americ Laporte's injury set to keep him out until March. Norwich operated in a 4-4-1-1 out of possession and set up in a low block for the majority of the game, with Stieperman operating just behind Puki, while Cantwell and Buendia tucked in alongside McLean and Tetti. City looked to drop Aguero into deeper positions to receive the ball, particularly as David Silva and Gundogan were under close attention from Tetti and McLean. This would be coupled with forward runs from City's remaining attackers as they tried to use their rotation to drag Norwich players out of their slots. Farkas Norwich could regularly be seen with all 11 players in their own defensive third. The Canaries were more than happy to let Man City bring the ball out from the back and wouldn't look to engage them until they had approached Norwich's defensive third. Puki would put mild pressure on Stones or Otamendi as they came further up the pitch, while Stieperman would try to occupy Rodri. With the central areas congested, City looked to the wings to try and find a way through. Again, they were met with firm resistance from a tactically disciplined Norwich side, so City began switching play across the pitch through 10 to 15 yard short passes on the floor designed to entice individuals out from the Norwich block and create a gap inside where Man City could hurt them. With City dominating possession, Norwich opened the scoring against the run of play from a corner after 18 minutes. Guardiola's side defend set pieces zonally and McLean took advantage, finding a gap with a near post run inside Sterling, out jumping Rodri and powering an unstoppable header past Edison. Ten minutes later, Norwich doubled their advantage. The home side were happy to try and bypass Man City's press completely by going over the top of it. Unselfish play from Puki, who had been released by Stieperman, took the champion's retreating defence out of the game and left Cantwell with a tap-in at the far post. However, the promoted side's chances of a shock looked to have shortened before the break. Aguero found space between the Norwich centre-backs to nod Bernardo Silva's cross across the goal and inside the far post. However, five minutes into the second half, the two-goal deficit was restored. Stones passed to Otamendi on the edge of his own area, but the Argentines' compatriot Emi Buendia pressed quickly and aggressively, gained possession and squared to Puki, who had time to take a touch before slotting home his sixth goal in just five Premier League games. The visitors narrowed the gap with two minutes to go. With ten Norwich men behind the ball and spaces hard to find, Rodri tried his luck from outside the box. Tim Krul got a hand to his firm strike, but could only palm it into the corner of the net. Rodri's debut goal proved too late to change the result, and a famous victory was celebrated raucously at a packed Carrow Road. The best of times then for Daniel Farker, who celebrated after a famous victory. It is a special day for us and for the club, against one of the best teams in the world and when we have so many injuries. We have to be special in our plan for City because they're the best team in the world, but we had setbacks with our injuries too. We deserve the win. We were exceptional. And the worst of times for Pep Guardiola, who said, The first goal was from a set piece and the second on the counter, so credit to them. It is what it is. We have to learn from this and carry on. Our passing was not bad. We created chances, but we could not score them. They are a really good team with good players with quality. We saw that in the championship last year. They were clinical today. <laughs>